I love photography that creates an unexpected perspective. My name is Hannah Malagno and I'm an amateur photographer. I was first introduced to photography by my mum because she was always taking pictures of us. For my 12th birthday, I got my first camera. It was only a cheap point and shoot camera. And I just took it round the farm where I lived, taking photos of everything I saw, everything I was inspired by. And that's where it all started. I don't have a preferred subject matter. I like to take pictures of everything, but if I had to choose, I like taking pictures of people, but not standard portrait photos. I like people in the natural environment where I can capture a moment that wouldn't be captured otherwise if I didn't take the picture. I do always try and challenge people's perspectives with photography. Um, I like to take pictures that make people think that are unique. Um, I try different angles, like a close-up or, or an extremely wide shot. I try and get a lot in the frame. So I have accumulated quite a bit of equipment over the years. Um, I've got a 77D, 1300D, um, a Polaroid camera, EOS 100 film camera, a GoPro, and I've got 50mm lens and an 18-55mm to lens. Before I go out and shoot, I usually look on Pinterest or Instagram for inspiration, find stuff that other people have taken and see if I can either recreate it or put my own twist on it. And I'll pack my bag, pick a camera, um, make a cup of tea and then go out the door and shoot. I don't really like using auto settings and also it depends on um, what I'm taking a picture of. In the daytime I use AV mode, which is aperture value to control the depth of field. I prefer manual modes because you have full control of each exposure. And in the nighttime, I use TV mode, which is time value, so you can have more control of shutter speeds. TV mode is also really good if you want to use long exposure photography. With the long winter nights, I've got more practice with long exposure shots at night time. So starting from like four, I go out to take pictures like of traffic or skylines, because that's what I want to work on at the moment to increase my portfolio. The best picture I've ever taken is actually a pretty recent one. It's at the Christmas markets in Manchester. Um, I just like all the lights and all the people happy in their element in the natural environment. It's quite a nice picture. In this picture there's a couple and I use Aperture F1.2 to make them really stand out in the crowd. I get my inspiration from other photography accounts on Instagram. And there was this one, um, I saw a picture of a canal on Instagram and I forgot to save the picture, I didn't know where it was. But I remembered some of the buildings in the background. I knew it was in Manchester, so I went on a walk. Um, and following the buildings, I found, I think I found the place I saw. And that picture for me was really rewarding because I'd really worked to get this particular photo that I wanted, so. In my photography Instagram page, it's more of an archive or a portfolio for me, for all my pictures. And I aim to post one post a week, just to keep me motivated to keep taking pictures, going out every week, making sure I keep all my photos updated. Realistically, I post on Instagram for the likes to get my pictures out there so more people can see them. But it's also about my journey as a photographer. I decided not to take photography for university because it's more of a hobby and it gives me more freedom to decide what I want to take a picture of instead of being told. Anyone who's thinking of trying photography for the first time, advice I'd give would be just go out, try it. We've all got a phone in our pockets, we've all got a camera, anyone can be a photographer. You've just got to go out, keep practising, know what you want to take a picture of and work on it from there. <laughs> I love cameras. <laughs>